So hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to discuss about SAS log window and what is the use of SAS log window, how we can figure out errors, warnings or nodes. Okay. So let's jump into the screen and you can see from first row to fourth row, I have written a code where I want to filter all the records where age is greater than or equal to 40 from the variable age at start. So I'm running this code. And after running in the log window, I'm not having any error. That's why you can see in the error window, there is no, nothing is coming. In the warning also, there is no warnings, but there are three nodes. So whenever you're gonna run any code in SAS, there will be always some node. So what does it contain? So it is telling there were 3,332 observation read from the data set sasl.hard. So you can see here on second row, you are calling a data that is hard data from SAS help. So in the log window, it is telling there were these number of records that were readed from this data set. And then the data set work dot clinical data has 3332 observations. Again, the data set you are creating this clinical data. So in that data, these number of records and these number of variables, 17 variables are there. Okay. So the same node, you can see it's written over here as well. Okay. So most probably if you are running your code and if there is only nodes are coming in the log window, it means the code is error free. Okay. There is no errors in the code. Now let's go with a scenario where you are having error in your data. So what I'm doing on sixth row, you can see I'm creating a data. The name is clinical data, but at the end I haven't given semicolon. Seventh row also I'm calling a data sasl.heart and again I haven't given the semicolon. On 8th row, I am giving a condition where age at start greater than or equal to 40 and this time I am giving a semicolon. So what will happen guys, it will surely throw an error because at two statement, I haven't mentioned the semicolon. Let me run this. So you can see right now I am getting three errors. So see here, it's exactly showing where you are getting the error. So you can see here, the set statement is not closed with semicolon. Now you can have a question, sir, we got that three errors are there, but what are these numbers 56, 22 and 200? These are the category of errors. You can see error 56, 185 set is not allowed in data statement when option data TMT check cross keywords check for missing semicolon in the data statement or use data STMT check is equal to none. So what it is telling actual error is this only check for missing semicolon because you haven't mentioned semicolon. You haven't closed the set statement. Okay. So what is this 56 to 185? These are nothing but a category of error. This belongs to, it means uh, the issue can be related to set statement or the issue can be related to semicolon and the same is written over here. Okay. Then you can see here it is written error 22, 322. And again, it is telling syntax error expecting one of the following name, quoted string, these things. So SAS got confused because what happened in the next step, you have given semicolon, but you haven't closed the previous step. You haven't mentioned semicolon. So it's showing error in the next step as well. Okay. So you can see. In the error window, if errors are coming, it means you have to go back to the coding window and check whether you have written everything perfectly or not. So I can see here, I haven't closed the data statement. Okay. Data statement. I haven't closed. I'm closing it right away. Even the set statement I haven't closed. So I'm closing it right away. So after running this, you can see there are no errors. Okay. Now guys, let me show you uh, some more errors and how to debug it. So you can see this is an data on 11th row data name is test, which is containing two variables, weight and age. So you can see weight variable, some values are present and some values are missing. Okay. In the age variable, all the values are present, but there is one flaw on 18th row. You can see the value is two S. But the age cannot be 2s, right? It can be 20, 30, 40, 10. 
it should be any number right but here it's 2s and its age is a numeric variable but you are keeping an character so after running this let's see what you are getting in the output so in the output data you can see the age value is missing okay in the log window you can see three nodes are coming now let us try to understand how you can debug this error so you can see here it is showing weight equal to 19 and age equal to missing error equal to 1 and n equal to 5 so whenever you have error okay these kind of error data error so in the error underscore error this is a default you know variable it gonna give 1 there is one error on which row number underscore n underscore contains the row number okay so on the fifth row so let's suppose this data test contain five records one two three four five so it is telling on the fifth row underscore n underscore equal to fifth there is an error okay there is one error okay and we know the error is this s only and apart from this it is telling more it is telling from fourth to fifth uh, position there is an error so, so because you can see this age value you have kept from fourth to fifth position this 2s okay so it is giving you the position as well invalid data for age in line 76 4 to 5 now you can have a question sir line number why it is showing 76 in the coding window it's not 76 number guys it is reading from the log it is because 76 number is here so it is telling uh, 76 number from here 4 to 5th row uh, is from here only this is 4th and 5th position on 18th row so you can see this is how it is telling you that where is an error in your data okay and another notes are very simple the data set contain five observation two variable and another note contain how much time it took for the cpu and system what is the file memory these things are not that much useful until or unless you have specific need but this note the error note is very useful for you so you can see here it's very simple it's showing on 76 number 90 and 2s so you can see invalid data from age line number 76 4 to 5th okay and this is an issue 2s and again it is showing error equal to 1 and n equal to 5 so you can simply go to your data and check the record number 5 what is an error now guys let me run this data okay so what i'll do i'll resolve this issue i'll keep it 20 here now you can see that error is not coming the date the data issue got resolved now i'm running this data i'm just multiplying the weight value and i'm uh, doubling it okay so you can see in the log window missing values were generated as a result of performing an operator on missing value each place is given by number of times at line number and column number okay so this is showing there are some missing values at this line number and this column number because you can see here we have a missing values right so it is telling because you are multiplying the weight values existing weight value you are doubling it okay weight value should be doubled multiplied by 2 so if it is missing so missing multiplied by 2 gonna be missing only right if you are doubling that value it gonna be missing only so you can see in the output as well here you are getting missing because the weight value was missing the same it is telling in the log window there were some missing values generated okay and it is showing you the number as well 24 number row number so guys now i'm gonna explain you a few of the things you should understand from the log window sas statement all the data step and proc steps are executed those are known as sas statements notes informational message about processing time data set creation and more comes in notes warnings warnings are related to alerts about potential issue that don't stop program execution but it will show you an warning error critical problems that may halt your program so for error you need to ensure it that it should be resolved 
warning sometimes you can leave it it is a warning for you or for the data set you are running if there is an issue in your data and if the error you are getting in the nodes you need to debug that as well what we have done in today's session so yeah these are the three things in the log window error warning and nodes each of this error warning and nodes are very important to understand and again uh, it is not mandatory that you should remember the error number that like error number 24 to 200 you should not remember that what is that error number so if you are getting any error while running your code just go back to your coding window just check the particular row or step by step let's suppose if i'm getting error after running this code from sixth row to ninth row so step by step i should check in sixth row i'll be checking what is an error if there is no error i'll go to seventh row on seventh row i'll check what is an error so if i have a missing semicolon i'll give the semicolon here same way i'll check the eighth row and then ninth row okay in most of the times SAS will show you the number as well, row number, where is an error, okay? Either it will show you the record number, either it will show you the row number. That will make your work more easier. So guys, that's all from my end about the log window. If you have any more questions related to log window or anything, you can ask me in the comments. And apart from this, if you want to have counseling with me, you can even connect to me through one-to-one -one counseling and you can check the link in the video description and even in the channel about section. That's all in today's video. Let's meet in the next video. Till the time. Bye-bye everyone and thank you everyone.